It's very interesting. That's the way the master glass panther, but you can see his panther coming. He telegraphs his punches. Mike tells Eddie. I don't even know what I was doing. I tried to do the Mike Tyson impression, but I flopped badly. So that's basically what Mike said. Let me just say in a normal, proper human way. It's very interesting. Joshua is a masterful puncher, but you can see his punches coming. He telegraphs his punches. That's what Mike tells Eddie Hearn on Eddie Hearn, in Eddie Hearn's podcast. To be fair, that is a good point. In my opinion, Joshua's style is pretty much made for Fury. That robot and that Joshua is my favorite. It's probably my favorite fighter. But I, I'm just real. I'm not like these fanboys that just fake it and stuff. I'm just going to be real. Joshua is my favorite fighter. But he's a bit robotic. I, I know he's improved a bit. But he's a, his style is a bit robotic. Um, You can pretty much... You pretty much know what, what punch he's going to try and throw or try and land next. His style come forward. He's not very fast. He gasses out. He punches hard. But it's not as hard as what a lot of some people say. Like, I don't think... Maybe he could hurt Fury, but I don't think it's going to be a punch that Fury wouldn't be able to handle. So that's why I feel like Fury is just going to outbox him early on, make Joshua gas out and then stop him late. That's how I feel. I feel like that's what Mike is trying to say as well. Mike also says that the heavyweight division is hot right now. But is it? Is it really? Because you've got Joshua, Fury and Wilder. Wilder's already been knocked down. And if he was a bit, a little bit younger, I would have said, okay, maybe he could come back. But he is 35. And he's with PBC. He doesn't really want to make him fight anyone. Apart from Cream Puffs. So I don't really call us Wild anymore. He's not going to fight Joshua. I don't want to get into that because that's just boring. The Wilder thing is just boring. So I'll just rule him out. Fury and Joshua, that's it. Like, Joshua, the, peop the, rank the people below Joshua, like Dylan Wise, the Parkers, the Ruiz... The Usyk. And most of these law, Joshua's already beaten. Like for example, White, he already knocked him out cold. Easy. Povetkin, he already knocked him out cold. Easy. Uh, Ruiz, when Joshua was fully focused, beat him easy. He probably could have won the fight with one hand tied behind his back. That's how easy it was. Obviously, he won on points, but it was still easy. Parker, easy. Who else did he fight? Like, there, like the Parker, Povetkin, White, there... Considered to be just below the Joshua's and Furies. So you'll say that the average division is hot, but in truth, you've only got two because Wilder's kind of out now. Below Joshua and Fury, the division is hot. Like you got Parker, Usyk, White, Povetkin. These guys can all beat each other. Like if these lot fight, it's generally a 50 50 fight. Like it'll be difficult to pick who's going to win if these lot fight. But in terms of like, the main, it's sort of similar to the welterweight, welterweight division. That you got Crawford and Spence. They're the best two. But then below that you got Porter, Danny Garcia, Keith Furman. Them, they fight. You kind of don't know who's going to win. It's going to be close fights and stuff. So yeah, I feel like the heavy division is hot. But it's, apart from the, it's, the, it's, not, it's not like there's six people. Which, it, that's never really the case. But it's not like there's six people. That's like, oh, number one, who's number one out of these six people? But I guess that's pretty much, I say that's impossible, but the lightweight division is pretty much that. you got Lomachenko, Devin Haney, Teofimo, Ryan Garcia, Javonto. Out of them, you don't know who's the number one. But a lot of people are going to say Teofimo because he beat Loma, but I reckon Loma beat Teofimo in the rematch. But obviously it's opinion-based, so you can't really say. So yeah, getting back to the Joshua Fury thing. I feel like Joshua's, he has to knock Fury out inside six rounds. But can he? Like, who has he knocked out like at world level inside six rounds? He couldn't knock out White inside six rounds. He couldn't knock out Pulev inside six rounds. He couldn't knock out Ruiz at all. He dropped him, but he couldn't knock him out. He couldn't knock, knock out Parker inside six rounds. Or he didn't knock him out at all. He couldn't knock out Povetkin inside six rounds. So what makes you think he can knock out the best defensive heavyweight of probably one of the best heavyweights defensively of all time in Tyson Fury. Like, how, what makes you think that you can do that to Tyson Fury? What makes you think that he can knock out Tyson Fury inside six rounds? Because everyone's saying this. He has to beat Fury inside six rounds. Because I don't know, maybe it's just some muscles, but no matter how hard Joshua trains, he just seems to get tired. He just seems to get tired after f five rounds. If he does one, like, he goes all in in one round. He needs another three, four rounds 
to rest, to just walk around and rest. So yeah, I feel like the first six rounds might be competitive and then after that Fury will just dominate. And it'll, it'll just be a case of whether Fury will go for it or he'll just try and outbox. In this new style, what he did to Wild, I don't know if he's going to constantly put, put that style or not. Maybe he's going to choose. But I feel like after the first six, he'll be cautious and just try to out-jab Joshua. And then after the six, I feel like he's just trying to maybe go for it a little bit more. Not fully, but a little bit more punch him. Maybe win on point or late stoppage. So yeah, that's my opinion. Mike Tyson's opinion is pretty much similar. He says that Tyson's going to win. I know you lot care more about my opinion. So yeah, like, comment. Subscribe, comment down below what you what you lot's um, predictions are. Do you lot agree with me? Because I'm probably one of the best analysts. I'm joking. Relax. I probably say Paulie Malanaji is. So yeah, like, comment down below what you lot think. Comment down below if you agree, disagree, why you disagree, why you agree. Just comment down below. Like the video. Subscribe and peace.